<clears throat> Hi, my name is Chris Erskine. I'm an urban landscape artist and welcome to Art Post 69. Um, I thought this week I'd just take a few minutes just to discuss why I do landscape architecture arts or, or there are different ways you describe it. Am I doing architecture? Am I doing landscape? I'm doing contemporary. So um, the um, I'm fascinated by the modern urban environment. Um, a lot of uh, landscape and architecture exists within a landscape. So that's why I don't just say architecture because that sort of just suggests that I'm not interested in the, the landscape that surrounds it. I'm, I'm, I'm also interested in the, uh, the, the, the setting and how the setting and the building interact. Now, not, not necessarily on every work, but that's generally um, an interest of mine. And I'm interested in the contemporary setting and how, how we deal with it. And the other the thing I find interesting about uh, modern urban landscapes is it's really not done a lot. Um, you see lots of landscape um, uh, paintings that deal with uh, the natural environment, the, the, the rural environment, but most people in Canada live in cities. Most people around the world now live in cities. And, um, and uh, but that is doesn't get examined very much by many but by many author um, um, artists uh, you'll see it in in um, you'll see it in photography you see examined in literature but you don't really see it in uh, modern paintings so that is really uh, sort of the sort of drive I'm curious about how memory identity and place all interact and how we kind of uh, express that through architecture and through architecture within an urban landscape. Um, originally I had started off painting and I was focused on uh, figures and portraitures and trying to delve into the personality of the sitter. And that has lots of um, issues about, you know, uh, are you capturing the projected image, the inner essence of the person or is it a reflection of the artist? projections onto the sitter and then to get resolve um, those kind of concerns I then went to a uh, study of trees as a sort of trees as individuals who sit in a landscape and uh, have their own identity and the sense of place and that's where I left off in painting I was then sort of starting to explore into um, science fiction narrative as a way of exploring the human condition using sort of the 1950s movies theme where um, a lot of contemporary issues were s revealed only in science fiction of the 50s because uh, they were sort of taboo, you know, the, the concern about nuclear warfare and uh, experimentation and all that sort of thing. And science, uh, science fiction, especially in the, the B-grade movies, really did a good job of exploring those themes. So I started on that and then I felt um, it didn't really have the legs that I wanted to, to uh, didn't have the energy that I wanted to get out of it, wasn't going in the direction, so then I switched over to print. And that's where I stayed for the last um, 10 years. So now that I'm returning to painting, I'm sort of again using architecture and the landscape as sort of a stand-in for people. And so how people express themselves through landscapes and architecture is now my current interest. So I just thought I'd, I'd take a moment or two because I haven't really addressed it for a while and that's what I'm trying to explore and trying to find a, a method and a concept and an approach to that. And my current working thesis is sort of how windows express, um, conceal or reveal uh, people and how the, the architecture either helps um, um, suppress or encourage uh, those in uh, people's individualities and so forth. It's not a fully worked out concept, uh, but that's where I'm at today. So anyhow, uh, thanks very much for dropping by and we'll see you soon. Take care.